Well, hey guys, welcome back to WXB. I'm Naf. And I'm Chase. And we are playing Banner Saga 2. Banner Saga 2. And I just yawned. Yep. <clears throat> but hey, we're on the way. Uh, game trail. You know? Yep. One of a few gathered hunters says, looking at a beaten path of grass. <laughs> uh, no telling what we might find down it, but it'll fill some stomachs. Ooh. I like Ooh. filling them stomachs, if you know what I mean. I want to make this wager. Make this wager. Everyone in the group starts smiling and tossing coins in a purse before heading down the trail. When it branches, two hunters sprint left and three think the center trail looks promising. You consider what to do. Hmm. Oh. Search the ground for any clues. I think we should do that. All right, do it. The other hunters took paths with cloven hoof tracks. There's a chance you could kill the largest hog among them. To the right are rabbit tracks and possibly something much bigger, but it's hard to tell. That sounds interesting. What are you doing? Should we go right? <laughs> that's that's completely up to you. What if we have, what if what would we have to fight like a wolf? Uh, I don't know. I feel or like we I feel like we've fought a freaking bear before. So, but could we fight a bear alone with just rook? I don't know. It's probably not going to make you fight. So, you don't know that. All right, we're doing we're doing it. You choose to hunt alone and move down the path quietly. Oh. Sure enough, a couple of hares bolt for cover before you can, you can sight them. But it's not you you're they're afraid of. The scent hits you as a bear crashes yep. through the brush nearby. You instinctively aim and fire, scoring a shot no one else will ever believe. You shot 537 oh. pounds of meat. However, you were only able to carry 100 pounds back to the caravan. No, you yell back. Hey, guys. <laughs> Bar. One hunter was wounded, but it will heal. The two others brought back a large boar, but you are clearly the victor. Hell oh, yeah, man. Roddy. How much is this, actually? You give everyone back their coin and drinks are shared while the injured man's leg is mended. Later, the entire caravan enjoys the stories of the hunt while feasting. We got morale up. 25 supply? 25 supplies. And we got five for now. For now. That, was, that was a good. Yeah. That was good. That was good. We're in, we're having some meat tonight, yeah, dude. dude. Some bear meat. Bear meat. Boar meat. Boar meat. Ahead, the caravan <laughs> comes to an immediate halt. That's the second fine shoe this bloody beast has thrown in a day. The ox tender curses. It will take some time to see to the ox, so you call for camp. It's just one the ox, man. Come it's on. It's just one yax. While most of the cleansmen sleep or lose themselves in a drink, Juno requests a moment to speak with you alone. Well, oh, good. You are holding things together remarkably well. Yeah, well, you know, you sounded surprised. When I first look in your mind at Borisgard, I know you would do anything to return to Willette. Get out of my head. Her death. Some of the greatest people in our history have gone mad at the loss of loved ones. You say nothing but continue to look at the Balka. You're not insane, Rook. You're experiencing tremendous grief and still managing to lead this caravan. That is something to be proud of. I feel like he actually has reacted way overboard for the death at this point. Like, he's done a lot of crazy junk. Oh, he has. <laughs> he has. Juno patiently awaits her reply. Mm. One, two, three, buddy. Let's do three. What is your part in all of this? The Valka grows silent, looking down for a long moment before answering. My role has many names. Instigator, Catalyst, Mistake. But you and I are both fledglings in what is required of us, what we must do. You didn't actually answer me. Because I honestly don't know how. Only the future will tell if my role is villain or hero. Hmm. Well. Mm -hmm. Two? Yeah, yeah, let's do two. Anyone here could do what I'm doing. Juno's smile is one of the sadness and harsh realities. Not to anyone, but yes, possibly others. It's why I've been watching you. If you no longer seemed worthy, you would be replaced. Hmm. Oh. I like that one. All right. You act like I have no say in the matter. Quite the contrary. Your every decision is your say in the matter. You keep all of these people alive as best as you can, as if they were all from your own clan. That is rare and needed. 
Why? Why? Uh, why? Why is the caravan important? This journey is forging them into what the future will require. The era of peace is over, and one of survival has begun. Arboring may be the best shelter for the coming storm, but the people there are soft. Too dependent on a society that will no longer exist. Because of the dredge? Partially. But mostly because of a coming darkness that is pushing the dredge. One? Mm. You've mentioned this darkness, but I don't see it. You've seen the signs of its coming. Dredge in numbers, the land breaking apart. It is a force unlike any other. I wish I could say more, but even the Menda Council is ignoring, ignorant to this. Juno patiently awaits your reply. Thank you. I should get back to checking on the others. Before you go, there is one thing I must address with you. The, the serpent. I thought you needed some books in Manaha before knowing anything else about it. That is true, but the chasm at Ormsdaller and the tremors in the ground concern me. Yeah, me too. Should that incredible creature ever resurface, do not attempt to stop it. It would take power unseen in ages to affect the serpent. If you see it, run. Uh, yeah, if I see that thing, I ain't. <laughs> yeah, man. I don't, I don't know. Like, she had to freaking rally me up to mm. attack Bellower. Mm -hmm. I mean, <laughs> that serpent is way bigger. <laughs> That Way serpent scary. is scary, dude. Yeah, dude. No freaking way. It split the mountains in half. What is freaking? Yeah. What are we gonna do? And it did a big old freaking. I don't even know. The freaking that laser huge beam. Laser at her. I don't. Know, I mean, we don't know about that, but yeah. you know, we will. <laughs> <laughs> we her, would. Her words chill you as you find yourself nodding to her command. I mean, yeah, I feel like that doesn't have to be argued too much. Yeah, it doesn't. <laughs> hey, that thing that's like destroying the freaking earth. Yeah, don't, don't fight don't it. Don't fight it. Just no? run. Okay. Yeah, I knew no, that. Got but it. Thanks. <laughs> but thanks, you wise lady. The thing that could eat our entire entire caravan in one bite. Yeah. Yeah. You saved me. A woman shouts from somewhere among the clansmen. You saved me when the others would have left me to die. You recognize the woman as the witch you cut free from the tree. White leaves will blow once more across the plains and punish those who stood in our way. You step toward her, calming the gathering crowd. I'm not sure what you're talking about, but no one is standing in your way if you wish to leave. When the woman sees you, she smiles. What a handsome man, she says, reaching crooked fingers toward your face, but stopping before she touches you. My people have hidden food in the next copse of trees. Take it in good health. Without another word, she walks off into the countryside alone. Oh, more food. 75! God dang, See, man. I told you it was a good death saver. Told you it was a good death saver. <laughs> we just doubled our freaking food supply, man. Yeah, that was more than when we freaking got the bear killed. Yeah, man. Crazy. You notice the archer Nid, because she is standing perfectly still, looking out into the distance. I think that's... Uh, I think that's Rook. Let me guess. You see more grass. When she turns to you, she's not smiling. Dredge. She says quietly. How is that possible? You ask, knowing better than to doubt her sight. I thought we lost them at the at the chasm. You can make out a dust cloud on the horizon, which means they can make out the one produced by the caravan, and it's heading the same direction as you, toward Lunder. The Volko walks to your side and says, I was afraid of this. The cracks in the ground along the Eastway Road. It's like that dang crevice at Sigerholm all over, Hacken says. The dredge were just pouring out of it. Does that mean they could... Juno finishes your question. Appear almost anywhere, yes. But let's not panic the caravan. Just keep moving. We're and, going. Man, why does... Why, We're going. Why are the dredge, like, chasing us down? Because like, we have their baby. We have their prince. I bet that baby <laughs> is their prince. <laughs> no, but, like, for real, do you know? No, I don't. Okay. the finest Fletchers in the world. Though it appears beset with war. Because I was under the impression that once Bellower was gone, they were just gonna freaking leave and go away and freaking run. Well, I mean, there are a lot. It's like it's like that was a big clan of them, but I think yeah. there are others. You know, so are, there's well, a big group I with them. I don't know. I mean, Bellower was pretty freaking 
like I don't know. It seemed like Bellower was like the top of the top as far as dragons well, go. Yeah, but there's a multiple of the Sunder. Oh, he's w- one of them. One of the mini Sunder. Yeah. Great. I mean, I don't want to deal with another Sunder. Me either, because it took a special magic arrow to kill one, and we yeah, lost freaking, the because yeah, of it. Freaking, freaking! I don't want to freaking do it. Ah. Also, I don't want to deal with this stupid serpent either. Mm-mm. The serpent just should kill the dredge. Banner Saga 8 will handle that. <laughs> I don't want to deal with it now. Sow's sweat. This is bad. Hacken says. Lunder's fighting on two fronts and barely holding it together. Hacken's been warring long before you ever were born. His worried look is unsettling. I always heard the horseborn had trouble with walls, since they usually fight in open fields. He says. Ubin's the only one old enough to actually know, but it doesn't really matter because those walls will barely slow the dredge. Uh, and if those dredge flatten this town, we're defenseless out on these plains, Iver says. But what are the horse born after? All eyes turn to Rowek, Derdru, and Skathic. The three horse born in your caravan are pointing and talking excitedly in their own language. Derdru nods towards Rowek tossing her head and barring her teeth. You're sized by the look of savage fury on their faces as the couple takes off without warning, charging the attacking horseborn. Mm. Oh. Oh. While Skathic remains behind, he clearly wants to join them, but he waits your decision. They could die on their own! Oddleaf shouts, not hesitating to follow Rowek and Deirdre. Yver sighs. She's lost her mind over these new members of the clan. Might lose her life for it, too. He looks at you. We could fight Dredge, or Horseborn, or split up and fight both if you're feeling suicidal. If we're splitting up, my Varl are hitting the Dredge, Hacken says. We're good at that. Ingvar can do what he wants. This he always gonna, has. This is going to be a tough decision. Consider your options. Just let me know. <laughs> let's let's ask this one. Three. Skathic, why, why did they take off like that? Scat that bikes his lips and flips his mane left and right. Return to fight? He's either nervous and hiding something or cannot find the right words. Hacken spits. We don't have time to figure this out figure out his stomps and tail whipping. Consider your options. I think we split it up, dude. Alright. We split this up. We'll split up and meet back in town. The governor steps forward. We're dividing our forces. <laughs> oh, are you really that foolish? I've made my decision. The Varl follow Hacken through a breach in the town's walls, while the rest of your fighters and clansmen follow you into the fields. There are more of them than trained fighters with you, but smart tactics could still win this fight. Any of your clansmen will die unless you are victorious. Next time on Double DXB. Ooh. Bye, guys. Bye.